Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the steel staircase in Robo Sexual Analysis uh, Professional. So uh, first I'm going to create a structural axis. Uh, so this is like this video please put the thumb up and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button as well and next we can create the uh, vertical axis so Next, we can create um, a new section. So I'm going to use the section from Japanese uh, database. And for the column, I'm going to use uh, this one. And uh, for the, uh, the next section, uh, which is the uh, the uh, staircase beam I'm going to use the C section and for the step we create a custom section and uh, next we can draw the uh, structure so first I will uh, draw the column and we can turn the shape on and next I'm going to draw the beam so, so this is the uh, landing and uh, next we can draw the uh, stair beam Now we copy this beam. We can use the slantation tool and put the value here. So uh, we have a small gap here. And next we can um, apply the support condition. And uh, I will turn the uh, color um, this one. And uh, we rotate the beam. Uh, this one 180 and uh, we keep maybe this one 182 and uh, this one and this one uh, sorry uh, this one and change this to zero so uh, next we can draw the uh, step so we can the uh, create the uh, the node uh, inside the beam here. So I uh, will uh, input ten segment here. So now we have the uh, internal node, but uh, the beam still uh, uh, one a uh, piece. And uh, next, we can draw the step. So I uh, will rotate the beam here also. And uh, we can copy it. So now we have. Uh, the step for this part and next we can do the same for this part
So uh, this is the staircase that uh, we're going to design in this video. Next, uh, I will draw the cladding in order to put the load. So in order to uh, apply the load, we're going to need to create a load type first. So the first one is the safe weight, and the next one is the superimposed dead load, and the last one is a light load. So uh, first, we can um, apply the dead load. And next, uh, light load. And uh, next, we can apply the load on the step or uh, the steel beam, the uh, stair beam here. Also, if uh, we have the handrail or uh, something at uh, at on the uh, the stair beam, but. Uh, in this video, I will only apply the load on the uh, staircase. Sorry, the stair uh, step. So we can uh, choose the uh, member uh, tab here and a uh, uniform load. And this is the uh, light load. So let's say uh, minus two and for the that load minus one so um, now we can create the load combination and uh, next we can run the structural analysis And uh, for the result, we can actually show the deformation. So uh, this is in uh, centimeter. I will change the unit here um, to millimeter. We can check the uh, service uh, load. Okay, now um, I'm going to uh, do the steel design. So we can go to steel design and steel or aluminum design. And I will turn the cladding off. So now we have a uh, this member, we can um, turn on the uh, member type here. So we have the beam and column. We can uh, copy it and paste it here. And uh, we can put the uh, ultimate load uh, here. So we have our number four to uh, number nine and uh, we can run the uh, steel design so uh, this is the result so everything is uh, okay and if you think that it is um, not economic you can uh, reduce the size of uh, the beam here or the column as well but uh, this is just for the idea and uh, you can create custom section in order to save the cost as well so uh, this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it so uh, thank you so much uh, for watching I'll see you guys in my next video